Who's you? Kinemagi and Nene, Ireland Indigenous, coming live with today's reading instruction. Today's episode, independent reading for the 19th of February, 2021. I know you're reading 20 minutes a day as advised every day, probably for the last several academic years, but today you get an opportunity to do it in class. And you'll find it right here in this post, independent reading two slash 19 with the data, well, two slash 19. So you're gonna go to this post and I'm gonna use that assignment. You won't need that. You'll just be able to click on it. And it gives you an objective. You can summarize your reading So step one is you're going to need a book to read. Are you going to read an actual book? (sighs) Pull the dust off of it. Let's get it out. Use it. That's an option for you. You may also be inclined to say, you know what? I'd like to explore my options on Epic or at Reading A to Z. Both of those are very good options and more than acceptable for you. So you're going to read for at least 15 minutes. I encourage you to be adding time if you're reading at home. If you're in class, well, we are kind of um, limited by the structure of our school day. But the more time you spend reading, the more reading you do, the better at it you'll get it, and the more prepared you will be for middle school. So after you've done that reading, you have some options on how to complete the assignment. One, you could click on this Google form. Isn't it pretty? What's your name? Write your summary here. Include who, what, when, where, why, and how. Those questions should be answered on every one of these options here. Go back to the Google Classroom. You could write it on a piece of paper if you're in the physical classroom and hand it to me. Make sure your name's on it. I don't guess on who does writes what, especially this year. Or you could complete it with a Flipgrid. When you go to Flipgrid, you'll click right where I just did. You're going to join with Google. I'm going to join with my Google account, but you'll want to join with yours because, well, you're not me. When you get there, you're going to have something like this, and you're going to watch this cinematic thriller recorded live from Mount Pleasant, Michigan. How awesome is that, that you see a video that's recorded right in your hometown, and even better, in your classroom. Once you're done watching that video, you'll click over here for a record a response, and you will have up to two minutes. So let's go ahead and watch that cinematic thriller, because I feel like I don't want to deny you that once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. So let's hear hear me now. Who's you? Kinemagi and Nene Ireland Indigenica is coming live from the classroom with today's independent reading assignment. You have a couple choices once you've completed your independent reading. You could type the paragraph or hand write a paragraph and turn it in, very cool. Or you can come here and do a flip grid. That does not require you to actually submit a written piece, but the video piece works. You'll come in here and you're gonna tell me the who, the where, the what, the when, the why, the how. You know, so I have a basic idea, what did you read? doesn't have to be super long. The setting will be two minutes or less. You may not even need the full two minutes. But one of the cool parts is that you're allowed to use the effects. You could set a frame like that or like that. I could go with instead of frames or in addition to frames, I could do filters. Now I've changed color, change color again. I could use an emoji. Look at, there's a snowflake on my head. There are a lot of cool emojis, I'm not gonna lie. Let's uh, really want a tiger, you know, because I like the tigers. There you go, I have it. And you can play with those. Um, there's a, you could put a board up on here. So you want to, and change the split screen size. So you could maybe write on it. And you write on it with the draw tab. 
And you can change the color. Or I could close that down and I could do the text. Ooh, let's go superpower text. Let me get a little taller here to see over my own work. But you have all of those tools. Now I can move it around. That you can use when making flip grids. And it's just a fun way to complete an assignment. Yes, you are encouraged to use these other things. Um, don't go with just a black screen because I do need to see it's you presenting. But otherwise, have a little bit of fun. Take it seriously. Enjoy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ooh, ooh, got a background. Can I, what can I do the background? Oh, just changing the color there. I like my purple. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to encourage you to return to the Google Classroom and complete this or come and stay here on the Flipgrid. You'll end up clicking the record a response key and we'll have a little fun. Have a minute, Gigi God, Minwa, Bama P. So you have all of those great options. Which one will you choose? Which one? Think about it. You only get one chance to submit this special summary at this moment in history. It's a lot of weight on it. Look forward to seeing which one you choose. And We'll be back live in another session. Have a minute, guide. Minwa, Mama P.